don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on, YouTube? It is the Big K Cop 360 here, and we've got some fresh news now. Allegedly, Nvidia is planning to release the successor to the GTX 750 and the 750 Ti in the form of the GTX 950 Ti. Now, according to video cards, this card is supposed to be based on the GM 206-250 GPU core, which is essentially a cut down version of the fully fledged GM 206 300, which is seen in the GTX 960, 128-bit memory bus, and you know, that full GTX 960 has 1024 CUDA cores. So this 950, we'll talk mainly about the 950 Ti. The 950 Ti is supposedly gonna be a cut down version of that core, which is, as I said before, called GM206250. Now, if we take a look at history, the GTX 750Ti was launched at 149 US dollars RRP. At the moment, you can get a GTX 960 for around, you know, 200, 210 US dollars. But if we talk about like a 750Ti right now, I, I really don't know how much it costs in, in the United States, probably around 120, 130, I guess somewhere around there. But its performance isn't as good as say an R7370, which is priced towards you know the same extent or an R7260X. However, continuing on, if Nvidia get this right and they the performance of this card is significant and it's significantly ah oh fuck it's significantly better than an R7 like 260 360 sorry let's say for example then this would be a greatly priced card. I mean, this should be pretty good. So I'd assume that this card would also launch at around you know the hundred fifty dollar range, that kind of sweet spot where you don't get like crazy sick performance but at the same time it's it's pretty decent and it'll do you enough and it's still like reasonably cheap so yeah i don't know we're just gonna have to wait and see but at the same time look guys we need to remember that at the moment the r7370 the new card is essentially a radeon 7850 and the 7850 is still a pretty decent card so pretty much nvidia have to come out with a card the 950 ti that is better than the 7850 so towards 7870 range or towards r9270x range but at the same price or for cheaper so i don't know we'll see how this actually goes down this should be interesting i mean the gtx 750 ti had i believe 640 cuda cores but that was based on gm 107 and it was kind of its own little thing it wasn't a cut down version it was a fully fledged card it was just like the introduction of maxwell so, I don't know, we're just going to have to wait and see, guys. So, look, comment down below what you think. Are we going to be seeing the GTX 950 Ti? Is it going to outperform uh, AMD's, like, equivalents in, the, in, you know, in that whole price range? Look, when we're talking about the low to, like, the kind of mid-high end, AMD kind of has, like... I don't know. They, they've got, like, the gap. They've got the advantage, I, I would say. Maybe not so much with this new 300 series with all the rebrands, but at the moment, like everyone says, look, if you want to get a budget PC, get the fucking X4 750K, whatever the fuck it is, and get the uh, like the R9270 or whatever. Because AMD, man, when it comes to those lower price cards, those mid end cards, they've really got their shit price well. So I don't know, let's see what Nvidia does. Nvidia does. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you later.